Aaliyah Guyton, who we haven't even talked about because she's coming off an injury. So that's my question is, Molly Davis was the backup point guard. Um, the plan was for Aaliyah Guyton, who's A.J. Guyton's daughter, if you remember A.J. Guyton, who played for Indiana yep. for a lot of years. Um, the plan was for her to come in and be the backup point, but she unfortunately tore her ACL. She had a, a Josh Dix. It's going to be a Josh Dix kind of scenario, maybe, for her. Josh Dix tore his ACL his senior year of high school, had to adjust as a freshman, finally got comfortable as a sophomore last year. I, th I don't know if we're going to get a lot out of Aaliyah Guyton this year because of that torn ACL. Sure. I hope so. I hope she's okay. I hope she can get back to full health because she would be a huge help. Uh, I think you you were onto something when we started the women's basketball segment of Jan Jensen using the Caitlin Clark effect in, in recruiting, right? Yeah. Like who 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 wants to be the next Caitlin Clark? Who wants to be great? Right. Mm -hmm. These four years of Caitlin Clark have set a precedent that University of Iowa women's basketball is going to be exceptional for two decades. I believe that exceptional top top four seed year in year out, sweet sixteens, yeah. elite eights, and occasional final four if things fall right. Is it going to be the Hawks? I I think they're just as capable as any now us yeah. usc juju Watkins, and have their era L likely um i mean teams are going to step in and they're going to have their they're going to have their generation you know right and the recruiting like the talent doesn't just all go to yukon and tennessee like it used to like it right. used to just be a thing where it just was like all the top 20 players, 25 players just instantly off the board for everybody else. And, Don, and, Don, all... and Don Staley in South Carolina is going to go through this someday. They're going to go through yeah. it too. Right. So I guess with the talent spreading out all over the place now, it it gives more room for there to be more parody. programs and parity in women's basketball like we have on the men's side. Oh there, man, he used, to, he used to be so predictable in women's basketball. I mean, he's so to be predictable. K Connecticut, Tennessee final, just just pencil like pe not pencil it in, fucking pen it in, you know? Like, right. And UConn's going to come out on top more often than not. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. But yeah. So. Anyways, I digress. We're going way, way overboard tonight. Would have made a lot more sense.